All Recipes member Eve Eleven shared this recipe for tropical grilled pork chops, which she described as marinated pork chops grilled to perfection and topped with a spicy salsa starring pineapple, mango, and applesauce. Let's start with a salsa. You're going to use a mortar and pestle to make the spice paste. Place one clove of minced garlic in the bowl. Add one teaspoon of chili powder, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and one pot of cardamom seeds. Just press the pot open and empty the seeds out into the bowl. You can discard the pod. The cardamom adds an exotic warm note to the salsa. Mash the spices with the garlic and add half a teaspoon of water to form a paste. If you need more liquid, add a touch more water. Now peel, seed, and chop a mango. Next, over medium heat, add one teaspoon of vegetable oil into a medium saucepan. When the oil is hot, add the spice paste. Cook until it begins to bubble, about 30 seconds. Add a quarter cup of rice wine vinegar and stir it into the spice paste. Heat it without boiling for two minutes. Add a half cup of sugar and stir the sauce until the sugar dissolves. Add the mango. A quarter teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of chopped cilantro, two teaspoons of lemon juice, one seeded and minced fresh jalapeno pepper. If you like the salsa on the spicy side, you don't have to seed the jalapeno pepper. Simmer the salsa for 20 minutes, stirring frequently. Next, add one and a half cups of unsweetened applesauce and three chopped pineapple rings. Simmer the sauce for 10 minutes more, stirring it occasionally. Season the salsa with a pinch of ground white pepper. Transfer the salsa to a bowl. Cover it and refrigerate it until it's needed. To make the marinade for the pork chops, place two-thirds of a cup of the cooled prepared salsa in a small bowl. Add a third of a cup of rice wine vinegar, a third of a cup of soy sauce, and stir it together. Place six pork chops into a large resealable plastic bag. These are bone-in and weigh between 10 and 12 ounces each. Pour the marinade over them. Seal the bag and massage the marinade with the chops. Refrigerate them for an hour to infuse the flavor of the marinade into the meat. When you're ready to grill the pork chops, heat the grill pan or outdoor grill for medium-high heat. Remove the pork chops from the bag. Then, over medium heat, pour the marinade into a small saucepan. Bring the marinade to a boil. You're going to make a basting sauce from the marinade, but first you have to boil it to kill off any harmful bacteria from the raw meat. Reduce the heat and simmer it for five minutes and it's ready to use. Lightly oil the grill pan or grate. And place the pork chops on the hot grill pan. Cook them in batches if necessary. Just keep the first batch warm under aluminum foil while cooking the second batch. If you want to create crisscrossed grill marks, rotate the chops a quarter turn after the first three minutes of cooking. Cook them for about 10 minutes total or to your desired doneness. Turn them over and baste the other side.
In the meantime, warm the remaining salsa over medium-low heat. When the pork chops are ready, spoon some warm salsa over the chops for a tropical twist on an old favorite. All Recipes member John David DiMaggio raves, if you want a change up for your palate from the typical pork chop, these tropical grilled pork chops are it. They have a nice blend of flavors with a tad bit of bite to it. Another member named Lynn says, I used this recipe with salmon instead of pork and it was awesome. <laughs>